Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Who's got what it takes to be the undisputed roar king of the monsters? Who will claim the elusive crown? The challenge begins now. Here's 7-inch Battle Roar Godzilla Evolved. The Godzilla Kong 7-inch Battle Roar Godzilla brings the king of monsters to your collection with epic new details that capture his movie look. He has a nice sculpt with some new paint details versus 6-inch Godzilla Evolved. Let's unleash this bad boy. Let's attach Godzilla's tail. Take a look at that menacing face. Notice his head's in a more upright position compared to 6-inch Godzilla Evolved. Now he's leaner and meaner than ever before. Godzilla's new design has really grown on me. Now they've substituted a plastic piece of head spikes to better match with his plastic dorsal plates. From the plastic dorsal plates to the painted tail spikes, it's not as seamless as you'd expect. However, he does have some nice spikes on his tail, as well as a thagomizer at the end. I love the darker shade of paint on his tail compared to 6-inch Godzilla Evolved's sloppily painted tail. I'm glad the designers painted his arm spikes here compared to 6-inch Godzilla Evolved's, where they obviously cut some corners. Godzilla has that nice reptilian skin texture that feels bumpy to the touch. You can actually make out the gills on his neck. What the hell are those two fog light looking things on Godzilla's underbelly right below his neck? He has speaker holes on his underbelly. There's a battery compartment at the lower part of his underbelly. He's got that big button in the way for his gimmick. When you press down the button, notice Godzilla actually opens his mouth to roar and is accompanied by roar sound effects. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Although Godzilla looks like he has a head cut, he doesn't move his head. He also doesn't move at the neck. His mouth can open and close, but it retracts shut thanks to his gimmick. His left arm fully rotates. His right arm's movement is a bit restricted due to that big battle roar button. His legs can move forward and backward, but his feet can be fully rotated. He has a ball-jointed tail, which can be fully rotated. Surprisingly, Battle Roar Godzilla Evolved it doesn't come with any accessories. What? Meet the almighty 7-inch Battle Roar Kong. The Godzilla Kong 7-inch Battle Roar Kong brings the King of Skull Island to your collection with epic new details that capture his movie look. Let's release this beast. This new design blows the prior one out of the frickin' water. Kong looks menacing as ever with those eyes with ribbed brows. What happened to Kong's canines and who busted his teeth? Interestingly, Kong's head and shoulder areas are made of a soft, rubber-like material. The rest of his body is made of hard plastic. Where that softer rubber material meets the plastic body on his back, there's quite a stark difference that's frankly disappointing. I love how they've sculpted his hair and beard. His nicely sculpted pecs and six-pack look great. I'm not loving those speaker holes on his abs. Interestingly, Battle Roar Kong isn't equipped with his beast glove on his right arm. He has two tightly clenched fists ready to smash Gar real bad. You can even see nail details on his fingers. Nice touch. What the hell happened to Kong's backside? Yikes, he's also got some screw holes. Kong's got a big, ugly button sticking out of his back thanks to his gimmick. Push the button on his back to hear Kong's battle sounds. That's some pretty frightening stuff. If I heard something like that, I would freaking run like hell. Battle Roar Kong has pretty freaking limited articulation. His left arm rotates a full 360 degrees, while his right arm is a bit limited due to its pose. However, you can fully rotate his wrists. Leg movement's a bit strange. His legs swivel around a full 360 degrees. Battle Roar Kong can stand on his own. Unfortunately, Battle Roar Kong doesn't include any accessories whatsoever. Here's the main villain of Godzilla Kong, 7-inch Battle Roar Scar King. This titan just can't wait to be unleashed on the world. Let's cut him loose. The Godzilla Kong 7-inch Battle Roar Scar King brings a dangerous new foe to your collection with epic new details that capture his movie look. Like Battle Roar Kong, Scar King's head and shoulder areas are also made of that soft rubber material. He actually looks quite good, but he's lacking the facial detail and paint blending of 6-inch Scar King with whip slash. Scar King even has a small scar on his left brow. This version of Scar King actually has his mouth open. You can see his canines, but his upper teeth look all jacked up thanks to the gimmick. Maybe Kong busts this sucker's teeth. He's a baldy, but he's got a lankier build compared to Kong's muscular build. Does he really stand a chance against Kong? His chest paint looks pretty bland compared to 6-inch Scar King's beautifully blended chest paint. 
Oh, well, looky there, he's even got nipples. I'm not a big fan of the visible speaker holes on his chest. This bad boy's got a pair of clenched fists to crush Kong's skull. Sweet nail details. Scar King looks badass, with his whip slash draped over his right shoulder like a sash. It's actually a dead titan's lower mandible with spinal column. Brutal, but it can't be removed. What a bummer. In stark contrast, six inch Scar King has a whip slash that's removable. OMG, can you believe it? His butt's flatter than Kong's sorry butt. He's got thick red fur on his back and a couple of nasty screw holes. That ugly button popping out of his back with fur details. Push the button on his back to activate his battle roar sound effects. Man, that's freaking sending chills down my spine. I really love how when you press the battle roar button, it actually makes Scar King's mouth move. Very cool. Scar King doesn't move his head. Really limited arm move. He does have full 360 degree wrist rotation. Unlike 6 inch Scar King with whip slash, this Scar King doesn't have any torso movement, which is a major disappointment. His legs swivel around like Kong's, but they don't swing backward and forward, limiting his leg movement. Scar King can stand on his own. What's Godzilla doing? It's the victory dance. I don't care how silly this looks, I've always wanted to make Godzilla do this. Look, it's Godzilla, king of the dancers. Now let's remove his skin. Who's hiding under there? Almost got it off. What the heck? Mecha Godzilla? Spoiler, Terminator Godzilla is in Godzilla Kong. Here's 7-inch Titan Evolution Godzilla retailing for $14.99 at Target. We can see it has that peel skin reveal feature that makes this figure unique from anything else in the Godzilla Kong line. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. Standing seven inches tall, here's Titan Evolution Godzilla out of the package. Look at his face skull. But where the hell are his teeth? Did Chimo bust out all of his teeth? Godzilla's skin feels soft and rubbery to the touch. Even his spikes and tail are soft. <laughs> this guy is thick. He has claws on his hands and feet, but oddly they're not painted a different color. Godzilla's tail is pretty nicely done. What's up with those ugly holes in his tail? His chest flap often annoyingly comes undone with simple arm movements. Now let's peel off his skin and transform him into Godzilla of all. First, let's pull back his chest flap, peel back his skin, stretching it over Godzilla's head and off both arms. You want to be careful as possible. Now pull the skin down and off Godzilla's legs. So that's where you've been hiding, my dear Godzilla Evolved. Let's attach his tail. Meet roughly six and a quarter inch tall Godzilla Evolved, the king of the monsters. Surprisingly, Godzilla Evolved is missing the spikes on his forearms. Notice how vastly different Titan Evolution Godzilla's tail is from six inch Godzilla Evolved's tail. But I totally understand why it's omitted with this design. Godzilla Evolved has slight neck articulation. His jaw opens and closes. His arms fully rotate, and surprisingly, they actually swivel outward. His legs move backward and forward. His feet rotate a full 360 degrees. His tail's on a ball joint, and his tail can fully rotate. But you can't really twist his tail with Godzilla's rubber skin on. Surprisingly, Titan Evolution Godzilla doesn't include his atomic breath. But the battle begins. Fight! I just want to rip all these Godzilla Kong figures out of the box and see a giant monkey and lizard team up to drop kick Scar King. Kong can't even stop this on his own. He won't be alone. Here's 6-inch Godzilla Evolve. Godzilla has evolved into an all-new form, now stronger, faster, and more powerful. Godzilla thunders into battle with a supercharged heat ray and city-destroying tail swipe. I'm still not sold on his design, but I didn't like slim Mecha Godzilla at first either. Let's attach his tail. Hey, is that Godzilla? Why, why is he pink? Did he eat too many pink flamingos? Meet Godzilla Rose. Barbenzilla. Whatever his name, our king is here. Looks like Godzilla's evolved. His head's bigger and he's got big magenta eyes. Take a look at his dorsal plates, which are now more translucent and magenta in color. The pink looks just as menacing as the blue. His head has sharper spikes that extend down his neck. Not really a fan of the transition between his head spikes and the clear plastic back spikes. With a different shade of red, his tail appears to be sloppily painted. His tail is now equipped with six sharp thagomizers, making tail swipes even more deadly. It's like our boy's been hitting the gym, too. His torso and thighs appear to be slimmer, frost-colored, his underbelly is much lighter, his arms have grown much longer and muscular, expanding his reach in combat. 
On the back of his forearm, he has an elbow spike. But it's a bummer it's not painted. With dragon-like proportions, he can finally run and keep up with Kong. Not only has his body evolved, Godzilla can shoot pink homing projectiles. Here's his new atomic breath accessory. Let the battle begin! Fight! Let's talk articulation. Godzilla Evolved has ever so slight neck articulation. His jaw opens and closes. His arms fully rotate, but they don't swivel outward. He has no elbow and wrist movement. His legs move backward and forward. His feet fully rotate. His tail is on a ball joint. His tail can fully rotate. The end of his tail doesn't move, but it's somewhat flexible. Meet Kong with Beast, bio-enhanced anatomic seismic thunder glove. Armed with his ancestral axe and a prototype battle gauntlet that enhances his earth-shattering primal strength, Kong roars into battle, packing a meteor impact with every punch. Let's unleash him from the package. Big monkey. Man, Kong looks cooked as hell with a significantly improved sculpt. Crap, why does Kong have a wacky robot arm? Look, it's the Infinity Gauntlet. No, Infinity Konglet. Did Scar King smash his arm, or is it just an upgrade? Extending from his elbow down to his fingers, the Beast Glove resembles an exoskeleton. Looks like it's armored, too, which means Kong can use it as a shield. You know it has some electrical properties, too, but I hope we get that old-school Thunder Fist punch. Check out that ferocious roar! Kong looks pissed! With an open mouth sculpt, Kong now has a bigger beard, but it's missing the gray ends. And check out his thicker back fur that looks like a cape draped over his shoulders. Kong's gone all superhero on us. And who left those vicious scratches across his chest? He also comes with this Biomimic Heave, a new hollow earth aerial vehicle. Let's talk articulation. Kong's head swivels left and right. His arms move backward and forward and swivel outward. He has elbow movement and elbow rotation. His left wrist fully rotates, but it's a bit tight. But his right wrist doesn't move at all. Kong doesn't have any torso or waist movement, even though it looks like he may have waist movement. His legs move backward and forward. His legs also rotate. He has knee movement. His feet are fixed in place. What's that? That's not Kong. It's Oranga Kong. Here's six inch Scar King with whip slash. The evil Scar King rules over his fiery Hollow Earth Kingdom, wielding a whip slash and commands an unstoppable army to destroy Godzilla and Kong and conquer the world. If Kong's the god of Skull Island, then here's the devil. Big monkey, but bad. Let's take a look at this badass ape. Isn't he the perfect snuggle toy? Damn, he's ugly. Take a look at that evil scowl on his menacing face. He looks like an undead zombie, and he's balding too. He reminds me of Koba from the Planet of the Apes. Check out that red war paint on his face and arms. He's a titan killer, isn't he? He won't stop until he adds the skulls of Kong and Godzilla to his trophy collection. While his eyes emit a blue glow in the film, they're just painted blue here. Forget the atomic breath, I can't wait to see him shoot atomic lasers out of his eyeballs. His body is covered with thick reddish fur. Digging his scrawny design with an orangutan-like physique with long arms and legs, Kong stands no chance against him. See the colossal whip coiled around him? That's his weapon, the whip slash. It pops off. Looks like he pulled out the spinal column of a dead titan with its mandible still attached. Brutal. Scar King can grab his whip slash only in his right hand. When it's not in use, he can wear it around his right shoulder. Let's talk articulation. Scar King swivels his head. He moves his arms with a ball joint. His arms swivel outward. He has an elbow joint. His elbows rotate and his wrists rotate. His upper torso moves back and forth, and side to side, but it's a bit tight and noisy. He can also spin his torso all the way around. His legs move backward and forward and rotate. His knees bend, but his feet don't move. A completely new ice dragon-like titan creature, here's six inch Shimo with frostbite black. A legendary ice titan with unstoppable world-ending powers, Shimo faces Godzilla and Kong with a devastating frostbite blast that can freeze opponents in battle. Baby, it's cold outside. Let's get this beast out of the package. Let's attach his tail. Big lizard, but cold. In Japanese, Shimo means frost. With a similar shape and an inverted color scheme to Godzilla, this enormous four-legged beast has white reptilian scales across its body. He's got two forward-facing blue eyes indicating he's a predator. Shimo's head is adorned with crystals that form a crown on his head. He also has purple translucent crystals that run along his back. 
Look at his lengthy tail. It's got four purple thagomizers on the end to unleash a devastating tail swipe. Shimo is huge. Just look at the size of his forelimbs. He's got some pretty big claws ready to rip out some flesh. Perhaps he gets around on four legs, but can stand on two legs. Shimo has ice-based powers. The Frost Bite Blast accessory can be attached to his mouth and used during intense battles. He's fully articulated and posable. He has neck articulation that allows his head to fully rotate. His head can also pivot up and down. But sadly, his head doesn't pivot side to side. His mouth opens and closes. He could probably swallow an entire head or body part. All four of his legs move. His front legs pivot outward, but his hind legs don't. All four feet can fully rotate. He has tail articulation with a ball joint. His tail can also rotate. Here's Suko with Titanus Dug. Let's get him unboxed. Don't let his size fool you. Suko is a scrappy fighter with raw primal strength and a bad attitude who always has Kong's back. I'm glad we've got a combo pack with both Suko and Titanus Dug. Is that a mini Kong? Baby monkey? In Japanese, Suko means essential child. When we're first introduced to Suko, his shadow looks a lot like Scar King. Approximately 3.6 inches tall, Suko is a baby orangutan with brownish orange fur. He's got two short legs and two long orangutan like arms. I'm getting Planet of the Ape vibes. Isn't he so cute? I want to adopt him. His green eyes make him more believable. Suko has a scar across his right eye. Did Scar King abuse him? Suko comes with his signature boulder that he can hold in his hand. Calling it now, Suko uses a rock to knock out the big bad Scar King. Suko's head rotates a full 360 degrees. He doesn't really move his head up and down much, nor does he have much head pivot. His arms move backward and forward and swivel outward. He bends at the elbow and has elbow rotation. His wrists fully rotate. With a waist cut, he rotates a full 360 degrees at the waist. His legs move backward and forward and rotate. He bends at the knees. His feet fully rotate. Spanning about four and three quarter inches tall, Doug's a lizard-like monster. I want to see Suko ride him. I still can't believe his name is officially Titanus Doug, thanks to the internet. That's hilarious. He had a small cameo in Godzilla vs. Kong, and now he has his own toy. This grayish-black creature has rows of spikes and osteoderms covering its skin for protection. He has a short head, short legs, and a jaw full of sharp teeth. With green-colored eyes and a bony ridge above them, this creature reminds me of a crocodile. Let's talk articulation. With a neck cut, his head can rotate all the way around. Too bad his jaw doesn't actually move. All four legs fully rotate but his feet don't rotate. His tail is on a ball joint. His tail fully rotates. With an almost blackish paint, here's Godzilla with Heat Ray. Let's get him unboxed. Harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the King of the Monsters battles other titans to maintain his rule. Give me some chalk. Felt like a tank. This is the Godzilla we know and love. Let's attach his tail. Take a look at Godzilla's massive legs and T-Rex-like arms. I love a big bottom Godzilla with a dad bod. His legs look like they could inflict major damage on anything caught under them. Godzilla loves stomping on enemies to finish them off. His intimidating dorsal fins are painted better this time. Not only does his large tail act like a counterbalance, but also he has articulation in his tail for unleashing that devastating tail swipe. His explosive radioactive atomic breath accessory can be attached to his mouth. It has a new mold. Battle damage exposes his rib cage. Let's talk articulation. Although he looks like he has a neck cut, surprisingly, there's no articulation there. Heat Ray Godzilla opens and closes his mouth. His arms fully rotate, but his arms don't swivel outward. He has no elbow and wrist movement. His legs move backward and forward. He has no knee movement. But unlike the Godzilla vs. Kong Godzilla with Heat Ray figure, he can fully rotate his feet. Godzilla's tail is on a ball joint, so you can get some nice movement. You can also rotate his tail. Hey, Godzilla Kong collectors, we've got our hands on the entire collection of Godzilla Kong giant figures. We'll be crowned the king of the monsters. The challenge starts now. Retailing for $24.99, here's 11-inch giant Godzilla Evolve. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. 
The Godzilla Kong 11-inch Giant Godzilla brings the King of Monsters to your collection with epic new details that capture his movie look. Set comes in a unique Godzilla Kong package. Let's attach Godzilla's tank. My oh my, take a look at Godzilla evolved in all of his glory. I really love his size. Let the battle begin. Finish him, fatality. Are you getting Barbenzilla vibes with those vibrant pink dorsal plates? While initially I wasn't a fan of Evolved Godzilla's new look, I have to admit it's beginning to grow on me. His dark body paint in tandem with his pink dorsal plates and spikes creates a striking look that's a sight to behold. Take a look at his very nicely detailed facial skull. He looks quite intimidating with those eyes, razor sharp teeth, and beautiful tongue. We can see the paint on his teeth is a little sloppy. Very nice details in his neck area. In his evolved form, Godzilla's dorsal plates look pinkish. Here they're soft, translucent, and flexible with some nice detailing on each fin. I'm really digging this giant figure's streamlined look compared to six inch Godzilla evolved. Very nice. I'm not a big fan of the transition where the painted tail spikes meet up with Godzilla's plastic dorsal plates. He sports nice reptilian skin that feels bumpy with texture. Unlike the six inch Godzilla evolved figure, this giant figure actually has his spike that extends from his arm painted a solid magenta color. His underbelly's painted a lighter shade. There's some really nice blending near his underbelly. It's a bit of a bummer that Godzilla has visible screws on the other side of the figure. I wish they had covers for those unsightly holes. Godzilla has razor sharp claws ready to unleash significant damage on his foes. Take a look at the massive curved claws on his feet. Man, I'd hate to have those penetrate through my flesh. In his new evolved form, Godzilla's definitely lost some weight. Perhaps he's been hitting the gym. We can see he has noticeably slimmer abs, slimmer and longer arms for better hand-to-hand -hand combat, and slim down legs compared to giant Godzilla. Godzilla's tail is well sculpted and painted, and he's even got a thagomizer with a distinctive arrangement of six spikes at the end of his tail for defensive purposes. For comparison, here's six inch Godzilla Evolved and 11 inch Godzilla Evolved. Let the battle begin. Let them fight. Finish him, fatality. Let's talk articulation. Godzilla's jaw closes and opens. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any head or neck articulation. He has limited arm articulation, moves backward to ear and forward to this point. His arms don't swivel outward. He has no elbow movement. Even though it looks like there's a wrist cut, he doesn't have any wrist movement. As for his giant legs, they move backward and forward to a point. His feet swivel around a full 360 degrees. His tail has a ball joint, which gives you a nice range of motion. His tail can also be fully rotated. It's a huge missed opportunity that they didn't bother including Godzilla's atomic breath accessory. Come on, playmates. Let the battle begin. Finish him, fatality. Meet Giant Scar King with Whipslash, retailing for $24.99. Let's get him unboxed. He's an orangutan-based titan. Scar King will be the first simian monster faced by Kong in a live-action film. Set comes in a unique Godzilla Kong package. Standing 11 inches tall, Giant Scar King looks incredible. He's easily my favorite figure in the giant line. Take a look at his facial sculpt with menacing scowl. You can even make out some teeth with sharp canines, protruding eyebrows. I'm actually shocked his mouth can't open. I wanted to bite off Kong's head. Who said you have to play by the rules? He's wearing war paint on not only his face, but also on his arms. Meet Baldy the monkey. He has ears coming out of the sides of his head. On the back of his head, you can see beautiful fur sculpting. This monkey's covered in red sculpted fur like an orangutan. He has a lanky build with long arms and legs. His chest and torso have some nice sculpting and paint. I'm a bit disappointed that he has some visible screw holes on his backside. He has a pretty nice booty. He's got one open fist and one fully clenched fist, ready to give Kong a major uppercut. Scar King's feet are well sculpted and painted. For comparison, here's six inch Scar King and 11 inch giant Scar King. Let the battle begin. Let them fight. Finish him, fatality. Let's talk articulation. Scar King can fully rotate his head, move his head up and down, and pivot his head. He can fully rotate his arms and swing them outward. He has an elbow joint, elbow rotation, and his wrists can fully rotate, but they're a bit tight and squeaky. What I really love is that this figure has torso movement. He can move his torso backward, forward, side to side, and you can even spin his torso all the way around. 
Unfortunately, he still doesn't have any waist articulation. His legs move backward and forward this far. You can also rotate his legs. He has a knee joint, but sadly there's no movement in the feet. As for accessories, he comes bundled with his whip slash weapon. If this was a pageant, he'd probably win the first prize for being one ugly looking mother. It's actually a dead Titan's mandible in its spine. You can make out the teeth on the mandible. His whip slash can be removed and wielded in his right hand. It can be a bit challenging to get Scar King to stand up on his own with his whip slash in hand. Let the battle begin. Let them fight. Finish him. Fatality. Retailing for $24.99, here's the almighty Giant Kong with Beast Glove, the king of Skull Island. Let's unleash this bad boy. The world needs Kong to join forces with Godzilla, with epic new details that capture his movie look. Standing 11 inches tall, Kong looks better than ever. Man, check out that ferocious facial sculpt. They totally nailed Kong's facial sculpt with impressive details. Look at his I mean business eyes with protruding brows, beautifully sculpted nose, and my oh my, those teeth look amazing. They actually painted both sides of his teeth. His head has impressive fur sculpting, with his ears peeking out. He even has beard details, but sadly they're missing the gray tips. Kong has more of a muscular build compared to Scar King's slim build. He has nice pecs and a visible six pack. Kong still has his battle scars on his chest. I just wish they were sculpted rather than merely painted on. Kong's fully equipped with his mechanical beast glove from Godzilla Kong. Check out that insane level of detail. The sculpting and paint are really well done. You can make out intricate details in the glove, plus you can see the gear. Unfortunately, Kong's beast glove is not removable. Kong's new beast glove packs a meteoric impact punch. Man, where the hell do I get one of those things? Check out that thick coat of fur on his back. I wish he had covers for those visible screw holes on his back. The ones on his legs aren't as noticeable. He has a pretty nice booty. Kong's feet are nicely sculpted and painted. For comparison, here's six inch Kong and 11 inch giant Kong. Let the battle begin. Let them fight. Finish him, fatality. Let's talk articulation. Kong's head swivels left and right with some up and down head movement. Unfortunately, his jaw is completely fixed in place. It cannot be closed shut. His arms fully rotate and swivel outward. It's a bit tight. He has elbow movement and elbow rotation in his left arm only. Interestingly, his right elbow doesn't have any rotation. Although a bit tight, his left wrist can rotate a full 360 degrees. However, although his right wrist has a cut, it's completely fixed in place. Kong doesn't have any waist movement. His legs move backward, forward, you can also rotate his legs. Unlike previous Playmates giant-sized Kongs, this giant Kong has knee movement, but there's no movement in his feet. Giant Kong can stand on his own. Kong doesn't really come with any accessories, which is a bummer. Here's his legendary battle axe. Let the battle begin. Let them fight. Finish him. Fatality. But what about Shimo? Come on, Playmates, give us a giant Shimo figure. Pretty please. I'm going to unbox these Hollow Earth Crystals to find all these surprise monsters inside. But if I fail, I'm gonna destroy my toys with an atomic hammer. There are four monsters to collect. Which monster will we get? Godzilla Evolved, Kong, Shimo, Scar King. Isn't the packaging so cool? Each pack retails for $4.97. Shaped like Hollow Earth Crystals, there are eight blind boxes here two of each color. But where's pink? I need that pink atomic breath. Red, orange, blue, purple. Perhaps there's one monster per color? Let's find out. Let me choose one. Let's go with blue. It's my favorite color. Let's rip off the wrapping like Kong. The artwork looks great. There's Shimo, it just slides off like that. <laughs> looks like you can tell the monster from the mold. Looks like we've gotten Oh my, it's Godzilla Evolve, the king of the monsters himself. Crapzilla, is that Shimo? What the bleep? He ain't my Godzilla Evolve. I have to wrestle it away from him. Take that, and that, die, Titan, die. Whoa, that was a close call. Thankfully, I got him back. Pretty sweet sculpt and paint. Look at his face. Crap, he wants to attack me. Too bad he doesn't have his atomic breath. No teeth inside his mouth? How's he gonna freaking bite me? His eyes are mere dots, so he can't see me. Love the textured scales on his body. His color looks like he just burst out of a blue iceberg. The front of his body is lighter. He has a huge upper body and skinny little legs. 
Here are his pink spikes. I love the sculpting on them, but it looks like they're a separate mold from his body. What a big tail. And check it out, he's even got tail spikes. Love that. He's roughly two inches tall. No articulation on these at all. I got one, but I still have three more to find. There are seven left. Let me choose another color. Up next, I think I'll open up the purple. All I have to do is get a different minifigure. I think I got this. I think we know who's inside here. Look at those two feet. Let's open it. Cool, we've got the almighty Kong. Let the battle begin. Loser gets smashed. Fight! Godzilla's stomping all over Kong. Kong has a completely new design. Look at his teeth. Is he growling at me? For tiny figures, I'm shocked how detailed these are. He's even got battle scars on his chest. Love his brown color fur. His eyes are just dots. He's got a visible six pack, and I wish I had those back muscles. He's even got a nice booty. And there's the shiny yellow beast glove with silver gears. I need an infinity gauntlet too. He stands roughly two inches tall. Got two of the four. I think I'm gonna do the red one next. Let's see who we get. Need two more, Scar King or Shima. I know who it is. Can you see the outline? Let's open it. It's none other than Scar King. Let the battle begin. Loser gets smashed. Fight! Scar King looks evil. I'm terrified of him. His long limbs, red fur, that war paint. Love it. He has that long skeleton whip around his body with the lower jaw of a titan. The whip slash. Love the detailing. Oddly, his eyes are painted black, not blue. He's covered in red fur, but he's completely bald. Baldy the Monkey Man, are those arms long? Both his hands and feet are painted white. He stands roughly two inches tall. I love his pose. He's ready to fight. We just need one more, five left in the box. It's getting harder and harder to choose. Let's go with this orange. Last color's orange. Moment of truth. Let's see who it is. Come on, Shimo! Oh no, it's Godzilla! Ah, oh, shucks, it looks like we've got a duplicate. I'll crush it. Give me one more chance. We could open all, but sorry, I'm gonna cheat. Where's my phone? Look inside. <laughs> it's not this. It could be this. Or this one. Not this one. Rip it open. It feels as cold as ice. My hands are shivering. See the outline of his legs? Looks like we got Shibbo. We knew nothing about it until the toys came out. It's an ice titan. Let the battle begin. Loser gets smashed. Fight. Shimo versus Godzilla. Shimo's design is really cool. Love its clear white skin. It has small blue eyes, but I wish it had its frostbite. It's got purple ice crystals on its head in the shape of a crown. The shape of its head reminds me of a shark. Take a look at those crystals on its back. Those four sharp plates on its tail serve as a defense mechanism. This Titan's got a huge upper body and narrow lower body. It's bigger than Godzilla when standing. Its limbs are really long and it walks around on all fours. I'd love Scar King to ride Shimo into battle. But with those spikes, ouch, that's gotta hurt his butt. Awesome sauce, we did it, but we cheated. It doesn't matter the color you get, it's totally random and there aren't any codes. Here's the secret. All of them have a different mold. Use your phone to shine a light through the crystal. It works best with a white screen. For Shimo, look for the square. On three of them, it's on the top of the hollow earth crystal. Shimo square is on the bottom. For Kong, flip the crystal over and look for Kong's two feet underneath. For Godzilla Evolved, look through the top with the flat square on the bottom. On that left side, there's a bump. That's Godzilla's leg. For Scar King, from the top you can see the outline of Scar King's whip accessory and his arms in different positions. Looking through the bottom, just one of his feet is peeking out. Oh. My. God. Zilla! This is the coolest Godzilla toy ever! I can't wait to crush New York City! But can I get him to stomp a car, tail swipe a building, and melt the face off Scar King? The challenge begins now! 
look at this beautiful monster. This is so exciting. It's Heat Ray Breath Godzilla RC. This is not a regular Godzilla toy. It's remote control. Let's pull this baby out. Look at this. Love the colors and detailing on him. He's so cool. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's massive. He looks just like Godzilla. It does a lot of cool things. You want to see it shoot fire out of its mouth? I know you do. First, let's attach Godzilla Evolved's tail. We'll remove this pull tab from the remote. I love that the batteries are included in both Godzilla and the remote. Let's turn them on. He starts flashing, and you have to press any button on the controller to pair it with Godzilla RC. Love that it's shaped like Godzilla's foot. You can make him walk forward, left, and right. Let's make him walk around. It feels like having the king of the monsters walk around your living room. Insane. That's so cool. I love it. Look at that. He doesn't just walk, he stomps. Wow, this is awesome. He doesn't just slide. Two of Godzilla's toes move up and down to simulate his animated walk. Small things can get stuck under his foot, restricting his movement. Listen. Do you hear that audible thud? It's Godzilla stomping. That's actually a really cool touch. Still, I wouldn't call that a stomp. It looks like he's skating, like a figure skater. Looks like Kong's roaring at us. Let's roar back at him. Push the right shoulder button to activate Godzilla's roar sound. Sounds like Godzilla. I just wish he would move his jaw when roaring instead of always roaring with his mouth stuck in an open position like a statue. One disappointing aspect is that when you've activated his roar, you can't move Godzilla until he's finished with his roar. Honestly, that sucks. Do you think Godzilla can stomp cars? A big monster's running around New York crushing everything. It's so cool that Godzilla can actually move, but his movement is rather slow. But what would you expect for a giant monster? And wow, that walking motor is loud. Godzilla can't move backwards at all. But that would look silly. Uh-oh, there's a giant lizard headed toward the cars. You might want to turn away now. Crush that car like you can. Yeah! Hope nobody was inside. I wonder if I can get him to do a tail whip. Hey, his tail whips back and forth like a giant whip. It's kind of cool that his tail helps steer him. Why is that dumb building over there? It doesn't belong there. Make him go one direction, then quickly change direction. Boom! Let's try tail whipping Scar King. Take that. I feel like I can do so many cool things with this. Open his refill cap near the top of his head. Before we can see Godzilla's simulated atomic breath, first we need to energize him with tap water. Use the included mini water dropper to add tap water. Now let's seal it shut. And now for my favorite part, press the left shoulder button. Look, his energy spikes are lighting up. The ground is shaking. Oh, did you see that? Fire came out of his mouth. Hell yeah. I am speechless. That was so cool. Let's kill the lights and see it in the dark. While hearing sounds, his dorsal fins light up in sections and he fires red lasers out of his mouth. It's actually steam, but the red LED makes it look like his atomic breath. Instead of lighting up in sections, I wish the whole dorsal plate section would gradually light up. It looks even cooler in the dark. In case you're wondering, Godzilla's atomic breath doesn't feel hot to the touch. It's actually quite cool. Too bad this bad boy can't actually melt toys. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Isn't that freaking amazing? Look, even his eyes flare up while moving his upper body around. I can't wait to melt the face off Scar King later. Stay tuned. This is supposed to be the evolved design from Godzilla Kong. His new design makes me want to see the movie. Heat Ray Breath Godzilla RC stands roughly 12 and a half inches tall, and he's about 25 inches long from his head to his tail. He's huge, and it literally feels like you're controlling an actual monster. All the details are here, but there are things that are really weird, which I'll get to. So first of all, I love Godzilla's jet black color with light gray dry brush strokes. The details on his scales throughout his body are really impressive. I think his translucent pink dorsal fins perfectly complement his black skin color. There's great variation and they feel pretty soft to the touch. His forearms have those translucent pink spikes extending out from them. He has that thagomizer on his tail like a stegosaurus, but for some odd reason it's not accurately painted. 
there are just a few speckles of paint. His claws aren't accurately painted. I'm a bit surprised that they didn't fully paint his toenails. His massive chest looks weird, unless he's been working out every day. It's made of a squishy rubber material, and it jiggles. Guess he didn't like that. His legs and part of his tail are made of sturdier plastic. Interestingly, the end of his tail is also made of that squishy rubber. I'm digging his head sculpt with intricate details. His eyes look intimidating. He has a pink mouth with a translucent red tongue. And there's an atomizer hidden deep inside his mouth. My biggest complaint? It's a shame that they didn't bother painting his teeth. It makes him look like somebody knocked out his teeth. In Try Me mode, if you push down on Godzilla's first black spike between the water refill cap and the first pink spine, his energy spines light up. And you also see Godzilla's eyes and mouth light up as well. While in this mode, Godzilla's upper body doesn't move and he doesn't emit his vaporized atomic breath. RC Godzilla performs best on smooth, flat surfaces. As you'd imagine, he doesn't perform well on rugs and tile given his small wheel. Also, turns are by no means perfect, but at least this big beast can turn. Godzilla has one wheel on each foot and three wheels on his tail. As far as range is concerned, you can comfortably operate this Godzilla RC from up to 20 feet away. It's an odd choice that the remote control doesn't have an on-off switch. However, after a certain duration, it shuts off automatically. And now for the moment of truth, it's time to melt the face off Scar King. Isn't that so cool? I could literally play with this all day. And I'm a grown up. They did it. We finally have the coolest Godzilla toy I've ever seen. If you love Godzilla, this is a dream come true. It's heat against ice. Let the battle begin. Finish him. Here's the four-piece diorama set of Godzilla vs. Shimo featuring two exclusive figures. Love the see-through packaging. Let's get them unboxed. The Godzilla Kong vs. Tupac brings an epic battle to your collection. Set includes exclusively detailed six-inch Godzilla and Shimo figures. Let's attach his tail. Standing six inches tall, exclusive Godzilla Evolved with Heat Ray looks amazing. While the figure itself is identical to the individually sold six-inch Godzilla Evolved figure, it has a fresh new paint scheme that makes it an exclusive figure. He has pink eyes and a jaw full of teeth, which are not the greatest. He features beautiful texturized details throughout his body. The spikes on his head are painted well, but I wish there was better consistency with his dorsal plates. I love his translucent pinkish colored dorsal plates that contrast well with this paint scheme. Godzilla Evolved has leaner arms with spikes, however they failed to accurately paint his forearm spikes. Godzilla's got some razor sharp nails to claw out Shimo's eyes. Looks like Godzilla's been hit in the gym, his legs are also leaner than his normal form. He has some sharp claws on his feet. Godzilla Evolved includes his supercharged atomic breath accessory. It has the same mold as the 6 inch Godzilla Evolved figure. Let the battle begin! Finish him! Fatality! Godzilla Evolved has slight neck articulation. His jaw opens and closes. His arms fully rotate, but they don't swivel outward. He has no elbow and wrist movement. His legs move backward and forward. His feet fully rotate. His tail is on a ball joint, and his tail can fully rotate. The end of his tail doesn't move, but it's somewhat flexible. Holy crap, check it out. Exclusive six inch Shimo with frostbite breath towers over Godzilla when standing on his hind legs. Is this really Godzilla's girlfriend? Shimo has the same fantastic sculpt of six inch Shimo with frostbite blast, but now it's got a fresh coat of paint. Ice reflects off its skin, it's got nice bluish tones on its underbelly and limbs. The crystals on its head and back have really nice blue shades of paint. Its body is covered with hard reptilian scales that shield it from attacks. It reminds me of a crocodile, but with much longer limbs. Like tree trunks, its thighs and calves look thick. This thing is fat. Shimo's got some pretty sharp dragon-like claws to rip through flesh. Its tail has that cool reptile texture with a thagomizer at the end. Shimo has forward-facing blue eyes indicating it's a predator. There's its tortoise-like snout. Don't let its small teeth fool you. Inside its mouth, it has a red tongue. 
as well as a socket for its frostbite breath. Let's attach its frostbite breath accessory and see how it looks with it. But the battle began! Finish him, fatality! Shimo's neck articulation allows its head to fully rotate. Its head pivots up and down, but its head can't pivot side to side. Check that out. Its mouth opens really wide, and it closes completely too. All four of its legs move, its front legs fully rotate, its front legs pivot outward, but its hind legs don't. All four of its feet fully rotate, it has tail articulation with a ball joint that gives it pretty good range of motion. You can fully rotate its tail. Let the battle begin! Finish him, fatality! Here's the Kong vs. Scar King four-piece diorama set with exclusive Kong and Scar King figures. I love the see-through window design. Let's get him unboxed. The Godzilla Kong vs. Tupac brings an epic battle to your collection. With exclusive decoration that captures each figure's detailed movie look, here's exclusive six-inch Scar King with whip slash. Love his new paint. The darker touches of paint make his character look even darker and more evil. Great war paint on his face and arms. It's giving me God of War vibes. Nice blue eyes. And that scowl on his face is sending chills down my spine. He looks a lot leaner than Kong. Plus, he's balding. He's got nice texturized fur throughout his body. Notice he's got longer arms and legs yielding a reach advantage. He has one open fist and one clenched fist. He's got his trusty whip slash, a dead titan spinal column and mandible. His whip slash can be removed and held in his right hand only. Now it's got some black paint on the mandible and part of the weapon. Looks pretty cool. When his weapon's not in use, he can store it over his right shoulder and wear it like a sash. For comparison, here's six inch Scar King and six inch exclusive Scar King. Let the battle begin. Loser gets smashed. Fight! Scar King swivels his head, but there's no ball joint. His arms move backward and forward with a ball joint. His arms can also swivel outward. He has elbow movement, as well as elbow rotation, and his wrists fully rotate. His upper torso moves back and forth and side to side. He can rotate his torso a full 360 degrees. It blows my mind that this is the first time we're getting this type of articulation in a Playmates Godzilla Kong figure. His legs move backward, forward and rotate. He has knee movement, but his feet lack movement. Here's exclusive 6-inch Kong with Beast Glove. 6-inch Kong looks angry as hell. That's one menacing look. I really, really love Kong's new facial sculpt. Loving the open mouth design with razor sharp teeth. Look at how intense the paint is in his chest area with gorgeous shades of yellow, orange, and red. It looks like a thermal effect. But when you move Kong's head, you can see part of his chest area not painted, which is a bummer. He also has colorful touches of paint on his hands, arms, and legs. For comparison, here's 6-inch Kong and exclusive 6-inch Kong. Which Kong's your favorite? Let the battle begin! Finish him, fatality! Kong's got his mechanical beast glove with sick details. I need to get one of those. Unfortunately, Kong's beast glove cannot be detached. With a nice muscular build, I'm really digging Kong's sculpt with fur details throughout his body. Notice Kong's got what appears to be a slash mark on his right leg. I wonder if Scar King does that in the movie. Although Kong's missing his battle axe, he's got this cool heave accessory with awesome details and paint compared to the last generic looking heave. Kong's head swivels left and right. His arms move backward and forward and swivel outward. He has elbow movement and elbow rotation. His left wrist fully rotates, but his right wrist is completely fixed in place. Kong doesn't have any torso or waist movement, even though it looks like he may have waist movement. His legs move backward and forward. His legs also rotate. He has knee movement. His feet are fixed in place. Let's assemble the diorama. This set includes a two-piece Lava Falls diorama and two Hollow Earth crystal dioramas. This four-piece Lava Falls diorama set looks fantastic. It's perfect for recreating your own Godzilla Kong Monsterverse set inspired by the movie. It sports some really nice details and adds to the visual appeal of the figures. Here's the two-piece Bone Cage diorama and the two Hollow Earth crystal diorama pieces. Now let's add in our figures to the scene. Since they're made of cardboard, they're not exactly the highest quality, but they're serviceable. The fresh paint scheme alone makes this a set worthy of your collection. 
Additionally, you're getting really high quality figures at this price point. This is Heat Ray RC Godzilla, and we're melting Mecha Godzilla's face, throwing an entire army at him, going toe to toe with the T Rex, and crushing an entire city of dominoes on Scar King. Here's the first of many challenges. Will Godzilla survive to the end? You don't want to miss this. I can't wait. Three, two, one, go. What a devastating tail swipe. He crushed it. There it goes. The city's actually collapsing just like dominoes. Scar King better start running. You hear that? Sounds like an earthquake. I can feel it shaking from here. Poor Scar King. Quick, drop and cover. Here it comes. Oh my God, right on his face. There goes Scar King. That was a freaking insane smackdown. What an idiot. Silly dimwit stood behind a bunch of dominoes. What a sucker. Godzilla has to finish all these challenges. And up next, we're playing tug of war. It's Godzilla versus T-Rex. And the loser falls into hollow earth. I always wanted to play tug of war with toys. Standing in one corner, Godzilla. Here's his opponent, Mr. T-Rex. Three, two, one, go! The T-Rex goes at full speed. Godzilla runs as fast as a tank. Godzilla gets yanked. The T-Rex won't let up. Godzilla's at the brink. He's going over. I can't look. Yes, Godzilla powers forward. He's got the momentum. Oh my, the T-Rex is losing ground. He's getting dangerously close to the edge. That's it. Oh my God, he's going in. Timber! Everything's going slow. It's time to pray. The T-Rex is going to heaven. Whoa, his tail came off. Did you see that? That's Godzilla's battle cry. Later, Godzilla will take on the army, but will he survive? But first, can he drive a Lambo? In this challenge, Godzilla will have to roll over vehicles and drive a Lambo to topple over a building with a flag on top of it. Go! It's about to get crazy. Godzilla's driving both piles of cars out of his way. Those puny cars can't stop him. That's a nightmare pileup to get through, but Godzilla's crushing everything in his path. Listen, he's ripping those cars to shreds and tearing them in half. Is that the smell of barbecued metal? He's dragging those cars into the wall like a freight train that's collided into an unbreakable brick wall. Godzilla pushes forward with all of his might. A lot of people struggle here, but he's making it look easy. Looks like he stumbles a bit, but he recovers. In a display of strength, look at that. He's taking everything with him. Come on, buddy, don't slow down. You're almost there. There's his ride and a thing of beauty. I can see it sparkling gorgeous red from here. It looks brand new. Please don't scratch my Lambo. Does he have the keys to take it for a ride? Start your engines. Vroom, vroom. Put the pedal to the metal and floor the accelerator. He's crashing through all the walls. He's going way too fast and losing control. Oh no, he crashed it into the structure. One last jump start and it's over. It collapses on top of the car. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna check on my Lambo. Next, let's destroy some buildings. Godzilla, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to destroy all the buildings before a time bomb blows up everything. New York's Godzilla's little playground. Brooklyn Bridge has fallen down. Out of the depths of the ocean, a tsunami the size of Godzilla just smashed that building, rattling all the windows like a wall of water. Godzilla races through the city, taking a building with him. A few bricks fall off the building. The first building buckles. A tail swipe rips the building clean off. He swallows another building whole. That was awesome. I want to see more. Godzilla topples two buildings at once, taunting even Mother Nature. Godzilla swiftly moves through the city with little hesitation. Destruction inbound. It's like a meteor hit that building. Godzilla slithers through the security gates. Knock, knock. It's Godzilla. Godzilla laughs. Wow. It's been leveled to complete rubble. The city's a shadow of its former self. Godzilla made his own downtown. Cars flipped over, screams of despair. The smell of fire everywhere. Now he's headed back for what remains. Like a howling wind, he blows the building down. No, there are two buildings. With just a few seconds left, the city's going to explode. 10 seconds. Time is ticking away. Godzilla's approaching the final buildings. Five seconds. What's he doing? Wait a minute, he missed them. Out of nowhere, he whips his tail. Hell yeah, did you see that? The building is coughing out smoke. Godzilla won. We made an absolute mess with Godzilla. Who's gonna clean this up? We'll find out if Godzilla can murder an entire city, but first he takes on the army. It's Godzilla versus the army. Godzilla has to take out the base, but an entire army and snipers stand in his way. The soldiers don't stand a chance with me as Godzilla. Oh my God, that's a lot of soldiers. Oh, there's a soldier. Stomp him down. 
Godzilla just dropped that fence. I think that soldier wants a kiss. Come here, my sweetheart. Sorry, I ate him. Poor guy. That was delicious. Tasted like plastic. There's the base. There are a ton of soldiers around it. It looks like it's heavily guarded. Whoa! Was that a rocket launcher? Oh, man, I need to get out of this spot. This is what it feels like when you're a giant monster on the battlefield. Is that a sniper? Tail swipe. Lights out, buddy. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be fun. I love how the soldiers aren't even moving and taking a nap out on the battlefield. There goes another sniper. You make Godzilla angry. Don't make me do this. That sniper's trying to be a superhero. He's asking for trouble. Holy moly. Did you see that slap? Taught him a lesson. Godzilla just bum rushing over them like a tank. Start chewing these babies up. They're taking a lot of damage. Did you see that? I think that soldier lost a foot. He can't walk now. It's so cool to be Godzilla. What the heck? Fire in the hole. Did you see who threw that grenade? They're going to lose a hand. Another sniper. Taking a lot of fire from this one. Godzilla shoved him with his foot. Just need to get past him a little bit. Watch this. Forget missiles. Godzilla shoves his tail in that dude's face. Ouch. These soldiers are pretty determined to die. All these soldiers are going down. Feels like I'm watching a Godzilla movie right now. Except I get to be Godzilla. Godzilla stomps on several bodies at once like a bulldozer. Go, Godzilla. I think that's the last one. Now for the base. Godzilla's turning around. The last ones are over there. Hang on. Let's make a run for it. Dang, Godzilla's my new favorite war machine. They're really packing some intense heat. Godzilla breaches the perimeter. Here it comes. Boom. They all go down with a tail swipe. We did it. All the soldiers are down and we captured the flag. Later, Godzilla's a GTA fugitive on the run. Will the cops finally stop him? But first, he's destroying a city. In Godzilla vs. the City, Godzilla has to stomp all the civilians. But to succeed, he'll have to find a way to take out the civilians on the top of this massively tall building. Man, Godzilla just threw that car. Like a toy. Godzilla's arrived. He's coming out from behind the building. Get out of here. Nobody's here for the lame humans. Pop his head off and throw him in the garbage. Step on him like he's an action figure. What? Don't let that helicopter save them. Let's rip that helicopter out of the sky by spinning atomic breath on it. Just blew out his birthday cake. Come on, here we go. Run for your lives. I love how they just stand there. Makes it easier to walk over them. Roadkill, crush them like ants. Everyone's panicking. Shots fired. I don't think that hurt him. Look how massive Godzilla looks. This is brutal, but I love it. Why are they shooting Godzilla? He literally just stepped on a few guys. He just sweeps the building off the earth. That's not going to hurt Godzilla much. Just making him angrier. Out of business. Godzilla's absolutely savage. It's so fun to chase after so many scared civilians. This is so violent. Sniper, get down. Godzilla felt that one. They can't even run for their lives. Sniper, that's probably not going to hurt Godzilla much. It's about to get legendary. Two shots in the back. What's the pilot doing? He doesn't even know how to fly. Suicide mission. Being the bad guy is awesome. You get emotionally attached to the humans until you step on them. Godzilla's on a warpath and nothing can stop him. He's a malicious force of evil destroying everything just because. They're throwing everything at Godzilla. When will the military learn that their weapons are completely useless? That's it, that tickles. You can't stop him, just run. He's knocking over buildings and everybody is plunging to their death. This is not funny. It's terrifying. Panic. Fear. How do you stop it? Just run! They got a lock on him. Another building reduced to rubble. Are they going to take Godzilla down? I'm literally shaking in my seat. Godzilla bows to nobody. Everything is rattling around me. Just a few more to clean up the city. I'll make it quick, I promise. No, 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 don't do it. I love my boy. Finished. The city has been flattened like an atomic bomb went off, but it isn't over. Just need to get into position. Ba-boom! Knock that building down with just his tail. Broke and sunk it like the Titanic. Everybody's plunging to their death. Yes, Godzilla wins this round. Godzilla needs a nap in the water now. Next, it's GTA Godzilla. Godzilla's wanted. Can Godzilla stomp all the cars before the police catch him? The chase is on. You got your seatbelt on? Godzilla's on a rampage. Roadblock coming through. Coming through. Godzilla's walking on foot and blowing through red lights and walking all over cars, showing no signs of slowing down. Oh my gosh, look at the way he's weaving through traffic. Hope he has insurance. He's getting more and more aggressive with each second. Look at this. Oh my gosh, a near head-on collision. The boys and girls in blue are hot on his tail. It's like a five-star GTA police chase. Flattened it. I just hope nobody was inside. 
This is an absolutely dangerous pursuit. Every cop is after him. He's going into oncoming lanes of traffic and going the wrong way. Hold on tight. Hard right. Just trying to toy with the officers now. He's headed right for that car. Full speed ahead. The cops are right on his tail. They've got him surrounded. Godzilla's at a dead end. Godzilla's been shot, but it doesn't stop him. He squashes the last car. He did it. Godzilla's a five-star fugitive. Shortly, we'll find out if Godzilla will melt Mechagodzilla's face. But first, it's the bonus round. Godzilla's gone bowling. Can he bowl a strike? Godzilla slaps the ball with his tail and bowls his first shot. Where's the ball going? It hooks right, missing every pin. Godzilla isn't terrible. It's the ball's fault. Talk about crash and burn. Here's Godzilla's second bowl. That looks like a strike. I can feel it. The ball skips on the slick floor, curving a bit. Still has momentum. It's going, going. Whoa. At least it hit a few pins. What an improvement. Here comes the strike. Godzilla bowls. Hold up. There's no way. I can feel my heart racing. This has a chance. Oh, my God. It sounds like a symphony. That was incredible. I can't believe my eyes. He bowled a perfect strike. A master class in bowling. Now that's what I'm talking about. And now what we've been waiting for, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla are going at it. There are a lot of combustible elements in front of us right now. Fight, go Godzilla, go. I don't know if this is a good idea. Godzilla just walked straight into his face and smacked him. The suspense is killing me. Oh, did you see that? What? Oh my god! There it goes! Here comes the pain! He melted his freaking face! Whoa! A thunderous body slam with his tail! Mechagodzilla is finished! Godzilla wins! Victory!